This is like the point of motherhood I've been waiting for. Hello, I'm glad that you're here. Monday, day after Easter. We don't do a whole lot for Easter. I've never been like super into Easter, but the Easter bunny did come yesterday. We did find some eggs. What else did you get? Easter. And then you ate it all. You ate your chocolate bunny. All guns. Your belly hurt this morning when you woke up, didn't it? Uh-huh. Yeah. Because I just let him make his decision. And obviously, being three, the decision is to eat the whole bunny in one day. But my house has completely devolved into an absolute mess. We had our first scrimmage on Saturday, and that went well. The girls are looking so confident and Obviously, we had a really good run at the end of last season. We won our league, went to states. I think that confidence is really bubbling over from that because I only graduated two girls, so I had nine coming back from the original team. So the confidence through the roof. Love that for us. Team chemistry, already starting out fairly high where last year it took like the entire season to cultivate. And the weather is meant to be really nice this week. So I'm really looking forward to that. It's meant to be like 56 degrees while we're playing our game. And on Thursday, it's meant to be 70 degrees. We haven't been able to get out on our field yet because it's been all too wet, but fingers crossed that by Thursday we could be outside. And I'm just like hoping, hoping. So this morning's gonna be full of cleaning up, tidying up, and I have to be out of here by like one o'clock because we have to get to the game. Poppy has found some rain boots that are really close to being her side. They're a little bit too big, but she can actually walk around in them. So she's just stomping around in them right now. They had so much fun playing outside. Yesterday was so gorgeous. Like it was so nice with the sun and the wind wasn't too bad. We got some seats out, the kids played. They're finally at an age where like they can play really independently. Poppy is very independent. So she doesn't need me right next to her while she explores the outside and plays. Can I get some what out? Oh, we need to get some seeds out. We need to wait for daddy's gonna dig the, the beds out for us. But we could probably start seeding inside at some point, but it's way too cluttery in here to have a workspace. So we need to tidy up so we can have a workspace. Poppy heard the word outside. Now she's trying to put a hat on. It was so nice yesterday. We took the cover off of the porch swing. So you really know that spring is here, especially with a 70 degree day coming. I had to take the cover off. We're gonna do a little outside time. It's already like 53 or something right now. I'm gonna sit in the sun though. Owen's got his tractor. I don't know what Poppy's plan is. It's like 11.30 right now. Oh, Poppy wants to be in her car. You got it? All right, let's get this out there then. You ready to ride? Yeah? All right. Honestly, the last two days, like this is the point. Sorry, <laughs> you're gonna hear Owen's tractor in the background. He keeps pushing his tractor a little bit closer to the water on our lawn. One of these times he is going to get stuck and he's gonna have to get out and get it out because I'm in my sandals. But this is like the point of motherhood I've been waiting for is to be able to sit and watch and enjoy my kids like exploring stuff and like playing and just watching them be little people like poppy is like looking at rocks and owen's just like driving around bit bopping on his tractor just like dancing and then like the two of them will play together they are blooming in their independence so i can like actually sit and like just enjoy them and not have to like mediate or walk around with them as much obviously I still do because they are still young but like this is the point of motherhood I've been waiting for this poor lawnmower has been stuck out here all winter because it broke down here and then it just stayed <laughs> we just went hunting in one of our sheds we found this bucket so we're gonna put big rocks in it from the driveway we're just on our way back and we had to stop the lawnmower which I guess it's key has been in it all winter too <laughs> We came all the way back around and uh, didn't notice, but my mom's car's in the driveway. We were like, we came back around the front of the house for like the last three minutes. My mom's here, which is good because I have softball in like an hour. I have to be on a bus headed to my game. So I suppose I should probably get inside and get things all started and squared away. You, you think it's Grammy's car? I think maybe we should go inside and have a check because mommy does have to get go into softball very soon. Can you go put your tractor away first? I don't want to. 
Okay, well, don't leave it outside in the rain. We came inside and my kids noticed immediately that there were Duncan bags on the counter that my mom had bought. <laughs> so uh, they ate all of her Duncan. I think she brought them in for them anyway, so not a big deal. She's still upstairs in the office and I've just laid Poppy down for a nap, so just a couple more minutes. If she's not down here in like five minutes, I'll go up and get her so that way I can head to my game. I'm super excited. We don't have to share the bus today with baseball. Usually when we have our away games, we share the bus and today we don't because they don't have a scrimmage where we're going today. Good news for us. A lot more room. My JV coach is going to check on our field today because he works at the school. So he said that he was going to go out during the school day and just go give it a little look. I would love to be able to have outdoor practice on Thursday and then I just learned today that my girls don't have school on Friday. I might take Friday off and then do a conditioning thing on Saturday morning because Friday's meant to be so 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 nice and I'm like here for the breaks this season. Like I'm not trying to like drive these girls into the ground. We've got a pretty good base. It's probably better to take a few breaks early than later unless there's something super pressing. I don't think I'm gonna have practice on Friday. Looking forward to the season. I already feel so much better. Just like emotional so much better this season. I'm already having so much more fun. Like obviously last season I was three months postpartum like that is super early to be back and like doing things and making decisions and just doing anything at all. None of us are fully here three months after having a baby. You know what I'm saying? Like no. Mm -mm. You can't convince me otherwise. I was fine. No you weren't babe. You were in survival mode. <laughs> I am currently running around getting ready for morning practice. It's 5.30 right now. I got way more sleep this time before this practice than I did for the last one. I feel leagues better than the last morning practice I held where I slept like two hours. I feel so much better. It's gonna be nice because my assistant coach is able to make this one. So we're gonna be able to split the girls up, get a little bit more idea of where to put people and just really work on the nitty gritty stuff. This team, because I've had so many of them last year, we are able to work on so many more fine details where last year we were working on a lot of like just big picture skills. So really excited about where we're starting this year. I've made a coffee to go. I've made a bagel to go. I need to finish getting dressed and then I'm gonna go to practice and I'm gonna come back because the kids have gymnastics this morning. And then, oh my gosh, my house. <sighs> How does it dissolve so quickly? How? Frantic. Going fast. Got out of practice. Now I've got the kids and we're going to gymnastics. And then after gymnastics and we get our post gymnastics Duncan, we come home, we eat our Duncan and hang out. We are gonna go see great Grammy this afternoon. I kind of forgot that it was in the plan to do that today until like literally right now, but it's fine. We got home, Poppy was up, I ready to go. Two egg grabs after gymnastics. You can have two egg grabs after gymnastics. That was a lot of chasing Poppy around at gymnastics today and she was so tired and done by the end of it. So right now Owen and I are having a little snug, watching Spidey, eating some Duncan. I love you. I missed you because last night, mommy left for her softball game. And then when he woke up this morning, mommy was gone for softball practice. And then gymnastics, mommy has to spend the whole time chasing Poppy around. So he does, does gymnastics on these days by himself. Like very independent, aren't you? He's getting very confident doing this stuff and going through the obstacles independently. Now's a good time while Poppy is napping to have some mommy Owen. Time. And then we'll probably go see Great Grammy. Come get in the car, please. Yeah, can you come get in the car, please? Nothing says parenthood like a pocket full of rocks. Wow. There's love in every single one of these rocks. I don't know, man. I guess I gotta start a rock jar or something. The kids fell asleep on the way home, so I'm gonna make myself some ramen because I'm hungry. I didn't stop at a fast food chain like I thought about doing. I'm feeding the kids these Uncrustables that they didn't eat while we were out because they filled their bellies full of candy at Great Grammy's house. 
It's gonna be a circle sandwich dinner. Maybe I'll make some french fries or just give them some pretzels with some hummus or some kind of chip situation. Super simple. Not gonna put too much thought into it. Not gonna overthink it, is what I meant. Not gonna overthink it. I actually had a decent night's sleep last night. Owen didn't come into our room until like 6.30 in the morning, so I had a good amount of space to sleep in last night. Our preseason for softball is officially over as of yesterday. We had our last scrimmage, and tonight the news is coming to come interview like- Mama. The... What? This. Yeah, I've got an ego in the toaster for you. We're just waiting. Ah. Oh, we're just waiting for the ego to pop. We gotta wait for the toaster. The news in the newspapers always go around and they interview local teams. We have Mama. quite a few schools in our area. As we're waiting for the toaster to go pop, pop. Stay hot. Go set. For the fifth time, uh, the news comes around to like all of the teams and different sports in the area and it's just our turn and since we won the league last year there i think it's actually like tv news instead of just a newspaper I'm coming to talk to the team and stuff just about preseason and what we expect out of the season and stuff like that so that's going to be a practice tonight but i still can't practice on our infield so i've got to think about a way to modify practice and still get infield work in without actually using the dirt and this morning i need to do some tidying up because our cleaner is coming today today it's cleaning help day so everything just needs to be off the surfaces and off of the floor that's like the only thing that i really focus on when someone's coming in to clean is just make sure the floors are cleared make sure the surfaces are cleared when we went to my grandmother's the other day she gave my kids little easter baskets and these must have grabbed from a craft store. She couldn't remember where she got it. She says she's had them for a very long time, but they kind of look like some kind of craft store blank where just like a sturdy little bucket. And I think it'd be so cute to stain it, but she put like a Reese's chocolate egg, some jelly beans, mini M&Ms, a little stuffed bunny, and it all fit perfectly in this. So cute, kids loved it. And now I've got a little crafty bit. I'm thinking stain it, fake plant, Hang it on the wall. Kibbles. I see you. Mama. What, honey? This. You wanna go get dressed? You need some clothes? Uh. Yeah. This. Um, you might have some down here. Our cleaner had called yesterday and said that she, uh, she couldn't come clean because her kid was sick. And like that just kind of halted my vlogging and my day. I'm not like blaming her or anything. This is like all my brain stuff, but it was just like, okay, the thing is canceled. I did manage to finish folding all the laundry I had at least. And my dining room table was cleared off, which was helpful because we had people over for dinner later. I had softball and we had the news come, like I had said, that went uh, fine. The guys, microphone batteries died like halfway through interviewing me and he still had two of my girls to interview so he was there the whole time it was fine it was a pretty relaxed chilled practice we worked on some of the things i wanted to work on like not a whole lot but it was fine like after a scrimmage the day before like i didn't really want to go that hard on my girls anyway especially at the end of the week like i'm sure that their arms are absolutely killing them and today we're having a day off so it was fine it was relaxed it was chill just wanted to build up some confidence answer some questions and then next week we will work really hard right before our game on tuesday i just went to go make coffee and i thought that i had started the water in the kettle but i didn't so i just poured cold water in the kettle into my coffee cup so I just have to stick it in the microwave because I can't waste coffee. I don't have a lot left. I think we're going to go out and do some stuff and enjoy the weather. Now the Poppy's taking like the tiniest little nap and we've had some Dunkin'. Dave's going to get my oil changed and rotate the tires on my car and then we'll go out this afternoon. This is what activities have been at the table recently. Oh, did you drop it? Is it down there? Yeah. 
You got the step stool up and now she can stand at the table and do these activities. She doesn't put the stuff in her mouth as much anymore so I can actually like let her sit there and use it. The only thing is we just have to make sure she doesn't climb up onto the table. So we've got two tubs for kinetic sand. We got babies up here that can play with the kinetic sand and now with the step stool she can get up there independently and just like play. She has been on top of the table already a couple times. But I think that I am gonna end this vlog here. I just wanna really enjoy the weather today and I might record some like vertical stuff today and maybe make a short out of it. But other than that, we're just gonna enjoy the weather. We're gonna go on a story walk. Just be outside. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.